Hi, Fred Altenberg, Altenberg Pianos. I've been moving pianos for well over 30 years. I wanted to put a video together of how we move grand pianos. Often we get calls, people wanting to move uh, grand from one location to another, and they're a little stunned when they uh, hear a price. So I hope this video will shed some light on the viewer so they could see exactly what we use and uh, the process of how we move pianos. And uh, let's start. I'm probably one of the only piano movers left that still use piano covers. Uh, I see a lot of other moving companies that just put pads around the piano and uh, keep the pads on with either saran wrap or uh, moving tape. I prefer having a cover. Uh, the reason being is, well, the cover actually, they're either made out of canvas or out of, in this case, it's almost like a rubber material. Uh, this will hold the pads on the piano in place. It adds as an extra barrier of protection, but most importantly, there's handles all over it. So if I have to grab the piano, uh, again, going up a flight of stairs or a tight turn, or if uh, the, the piano is, gets off balance going across uh, an uneven walkway, there's plenty of handles on the cover for us to grab. Uh, and it, it just makes moving the piano a lot more secure and uh, it protects uh, my investment and your investment a lot more. So I'm definitely an advocate of you putting piano covers on your instrument when you move them. And uh, most piano movers have what we call a piano board. Uh, there's two types of board. A traditional board would be like this one behind me. It's uh, called the piano board. It has a, a butt at one end and at the straps and the piano is packed up in uh, blankets and put on its side and will uh, be transported on top of this. The other style of board that we have is called a western. This is what I prefer to use. It's a little bit lighter than a traditional and uh, it has tapered ends as we go up a flight of stairs. If the risers are uneven, they do not catch when you have a tapered end of the board. Also, when we have to do a, a, at the, a straight pick to go around a tight turn, there's a lot of areas where we could, uh, with handles that we could pull the piano around a corner. So the piano's on the board, it's very easy to have myself or a couple of other gentlemen uh, lift the piano around a corner while it's strapped to the board. Okay, the last item I wanted to show you that's uh, sort of important that I'd like to see people uh, be sure of, dollies. Uh, the piano dolly is a little bit different than a furniture dolly, being that the piano dolly has a lot more beef to it. It's not your typical uh, dolly from Harbor Freight or a furniture dolly that's carpeted covered. This does not have carpet, it has a rubber which holds the piano. Uh, a lot of times I see people moving pianos with a car uh, with the carpet covered dolly and the piano could slip right off that dolly on the carpet. With the rubber, it, it's uh, definitely a lot more friction involved and the, the piano tends not to slip off. Also, on my dollies, I prefer using a softer wheel. They, uh, they do not last as long as a hard wheel dolly, but the softer tire on my, the softer caster actually on this dolly is friendlier to hardwood floors than a, than a hard wheeled dolly. So you want to make sure that uh, when you have a piano mover go into your home that they're not going to uh, mar the floors when they wheel the, a heavy instrument across it. Uh, these wheels are actually very good. And uh, when in doubt, we have plywood on the truck or we lay out uh, blankets on the floor so we don't uh, dirty the, any carpeting or uh, mar the, the hardwood floors. One final thing I wanted to touch on before we knock down this piano behind me is when in doubt, always ask for proof of insurance. Uh, it's called a certificate of liability insurance. A lot of times condo associations will ask for this uh, a document to be faxed to them. Uh, that's almost commonplace these days. Uh, the certificate would look something like this. It would be uh, easily filled out by the agent and it would be sent to either you or the condo association to show that the mover is covered for any damages that are done to the building.
Okay, now this is uh, the piano that we're going to be moving today. It's, uh, this is a Playel from Paris. It's a high-end piano. It's going to go to a customer's house uh, here in New Jersey. And uh, we're, we're going to knock it down and put, wrap it up for you. Okay, so that's how it's done. Uh, I want to thank you for watching our video and uh, I want to thank you to our gracious customer who let us film us uh, setting it up in her house. And uh, hopefully you have a better understanding and idea of how we move pianos. Thanks again. Do it again? Yeah. <laughs>